The first and second fatal shark attacks of 2022 have been reported. Victor Estrella, 56, was diving for scallops around 10 miles off Sonora, Mexico, February 12th. He was using commercial diving gear, which includes a diving helmet that is supplied by air from a pump located on the boat. Around 10 a.m., the dive tender noticed Estrella's hoses were moving erratic. The tender quickly began pulling on the hoses to pull Estrella up. As Estrella neared the surface, the dive tender saw what he later identified as a white shark. As he was pulling the injured diver to the boat, the shark hit Estrella again and the dive tender had to fight the estimated 13-foot shark for the diver. Once Estrella was on board, the crew headed back to shore. Estrella was taken to the Jarvos Harbor where an ambulance was waiting. Unfortunately, the shark took his right leg and he would have succumbed quickly to the loss of blood. First reports indicated the shark attack occurred in the Bay of Jarvos, which is relatively shallow and barely knee-deep at points. However, multiple sources state the incident took place approximately 10 to 10 and a half miles away from the port. A large number of sea lions have been in the area and could have attracted sharks. Another diver lost his life in a shark attack in the Gulf of California in 2018. On December 18th, Naham Aguilera, 35, was diving for mollusks off Porta Piancico. Aguilera jumped in the water around 11 a.m. and was found floating a few moments later. His two companions saw his gear was damaged and went to offer assistance. When they attempted to pull him aboard the boat, they realized a large shark had severed Aguilera's left leg, injured his lower abdomen, and had ripped open his right thigh. Because of the massive wounds, Aguilera had expired quickly. The group went to shore at Porta Pensaco, where police and funeral home representatives met the group. Photos of the victim show injury to the left hand and indicate what appears to be a dislocated shoulder. The photos also show a bite pattern consistent with a tiger shark. Due to the quickness of the attack, it seems possible Mr. Aguilera may have jumped on the large shark, which then bit his leg. Great white sharks have been known to visit the Gulf of California, also known as the Sea of Cortez, which may be a nursery for the species. In Australia, a swimmer was killed by a shark. An unidentified wetsuit-wearing swimmer was off Little Bay Beach in Sydney, Australia. Around 4 p.m. February 16th, he was attacked by a large white shark. Witnesses described hearing the man scream and then lots of splashes. A witness filmed the end of the attack, and the video appears to show the already deceased man being attacked by the shark multiple times before it eventually takes the body under and disappears. Police, four ambulances, and a helicopter were dispatched to the area. Some partial remains were found, and dye was used to predict the current in hopes of recovering more. Beaches were closed in the area. All men received a large number of condolences that showed that they were well-loved by their friends and family. Please keep in mind these videos are not designed to keep you out of the water. While it is very unlikely you will ever see a shark while in the water, it can happen. Everything in this world can be risky, and while the thought of seeing a shark can be frightening, more people die in car wrecks and from heart disease than are killed or even bitten by a shark. If you're worried about sharks, check out our shark attack prevention page at trackingsharks.com for tips on preventing a negative encounter. More importantly, before you enter the water, please learn how to swim. More people drown every year than are injured or killed by sharks. If you like this video, please like and share. Thank you for watching and please keep the men's family and friends in your thoughts and prayers.